And Tracy, marking this 100 days, that's a symbolic measure for Mayor Parker, but it also marks a point where she's been able to put people in place in her administration, get things settled, and make some plans. Now, we're going to talk about some of the plans released today in just a moment, but first, Mayor Parker today here in this auditorium at uh, Cromwell Middle School talked about uh, how she has felt in these first 100 days. I don't mind sharing with you that I feel extremely vulnerable. Vulnerable because I don't care how clear I've communicated my vision. The fact of the matter is that none of it becomes a reality just because the mayor says so. Now, one of the plans released today comes out of the police department, and it deals with school safety and the gun violence that we have been seeing involving young people. The plan calls for high visibility at dismissal times at high priority schools, including assigning two to three officers from 1.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon through June of this year, also focusing on enforcing Sydney ordinances like parking and stepping up monitoring of social media. Now, we're also learning more about the administration's plans for Kensington. That's where I am now. It's a part of the city that has dealt with drug use, addiction, and crime. The Kensington plan that was released today has five steps. The first step is warning and opportunity. The police department says that's where people experiencing homelessness or addiction can get into treatment or shelter. The next part is law enforcement. That part of the plan police says will come with a heavy police presence over multiple days that will include arrests for things including drugs and prostitution. Police say they will do this one to two blocks at a time and be wearing body worn cameras. The next step, step three, that's securing the neighborhood. You can expect to see patrols as well as barricades and bike racks so things don't go back the way they were. And then the fourth step, Police says that involves uh, getting the blocks back into the hands of the community and then finally sustain ability, moving some of those police resources into other parts of the city. Here is Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel talking about this process. This has been a systemic ongoing problem for several years. It will not get resolved within the first month. So we're going to be very strategic. We're not going to be pressured by anybody, but we are going to make change, make a difference down in this community. You will see a difference, but we're going to go through a very smart, strategic uh, process to make sure that we execute our plan effectively. And Mayor Parker today acknowledging that change is difficult, but she says her administration will be doing some things differently. Live in Kensington, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.